A part of me in the back of my mind the whole time was thinking these aren't gonna work, these aren't gonna work, these aren't gonna work. But I wanted them to work. Of course I wanted to just take a pill for two weeks and be better. Who wouldn't want that? I wanted that so badly. So, good morning. It is Saturday, March 26th, and welcome to week two of my antibiotic regimen on um, Refraximin. So far, just kind of waiting for any results. I'm not hungry at all this morning. Like my appetite is still gone. So it's almost 11 and I still haven't eaten anything today except for I've been sipping on this kombucha that I had started last night and just kind of sipping on it and some water and editing a video and I'm just not hungry at all. Sometimes what I do to like get myself to eat when I'm not hungry is to eat like junk food, which I know is bad, but like it's the only way you can get calories in me sometimes. Um, I tried this ice cream last night. I thought it was gonna be great. It wasn't great, but Robert and I ended up sharing this fish food, Ben and Jerry's, which I had never had before and it was so good. There's a little bit left and I'm just gonna finish that off and call it breakfast and see if I feel better. So one of the reasons why I stopped eating at alpaca when my symptoms got really bad, because I love alpaca. The chicken is so good, the rice is so good, it's delicious. But it tastes so, so bad coming back up. Just like the most disgusting taste you can imagine. That's how it tastes. And I just threw up some of it while we've been cleaning out the old apartment and my mouth just tastes disgusting and there's no toothbrushes or mouthwash here because we moved out of this apartment. So yeah, first vomit of the day didn't happen until almost five. So that's progress, but it was disgusting. I found a solution to my disgusting mouth, um, chewing gum. So I've been chewing gum while we clean. For dinner, I specifically planned to eat something that would taste fairly good coming back up because I sensed that, as always, I would probably throw it back up. So I had that avocado rice roll, super simple, and I have thrown up bits of it twice. And it, it's so frustrating because like it, I threw it up once and then it like kept threatening to come up and threatening to come up and like half coming up and half coming up and half coming up and then it finally came up again. And I was like, oh my gosh, finally like it was so much torture. Like just like, am I gonna throw up? Am I gonna throw up? Am I gonna throw up? Hopefully that's the only times I'm gonna throw up because I hope I don't throw up anymore. And I'm bloated as always. Antibiotics are working great. I have been throwing up or half throwing up or acid refluxing the entire night and I'm angry about it and I'm so tired of it and I want it to stop and I have no idea when it's going to stop. So it's just one of those nights where I don't know when it's gonna stop and it's just torturous. So yeah, good night. And as soon as I recorded that last clip, I threw up again. So oh, I just want this to stop and it never stops. So I haven't eaten any food today. Um, I really don't want to because of how bad last night was. I was pretty miserable last night. The thought of having any food and potentially having bad symptoms again terrifies me. So I'm just not gonna eat. I'm just gonna, I'm chewing some gum and I'm drinking some water. I'm just gonna procrastinate eating for a while. Alrighty, so um, I still haven't eaten any like real food today, um, but I did eat this entire dark chocolate raspberry chocolate bar because chocolate is like my safe food. And I'm about to take my second dose. It's about 2 p.m. right now. It's like three o'clock and I finally decided that I'm gonna brave eating and I'm gonna make my new favorite food, which is that Thai like herb and like gentle vegetable and rice noodle soup. So here we have green onion, red chili, jalapenos, garlic, 
I like to use this bone broth um, that's already like Thai flavored and it just has extra protein in it. And then I'm boiling my water for my rice noodles. I've reached the point where the soup is basically done. I just have to put all the components together. So I'm gonna show you what we got. So I added the rest of the bone broth to my pot. And then I also added baby bok choy, like a couple handfuls of it, and then little mini shiitake mushrooms. And so that's gonna come to a boil. Rice noodles, well, half of them are in this bowl with some cucumbers on top. I like to put the cucumbers in before the broth so they like um, cook a little bit when I pour the broth over. And then over here we have fresh cut cilantro, fresh sliced basil, and then I also have my chili oil that I will probably drizzle on top when I'm eating it. And then this is basically everything that I had prepped in the fridge already. So like the rest of the mushrooms that I have, fresh cracked cucumbers, fresh basil, bok choy, and the rest of the rice noodles. So I can make this soup again tomorrow if I want. And I kind of feel like I wasted my time I'm making that soup because I've only been able to eat like two bites of it. Because I vomited so much yesterday, my throat just cannot handle the spice. And the spice like to my taste buds is fine. But every time I take a bite, I cough and I cough and I cough and I cough. So that's not really working out for me. So I had this, just small thing of kefir because that's another safe food for me. And I might just have to put the soup away and wait until dinner or another time. I did not eat any of the soup besides the two bites that I had. So I finished a bowl of chips and that might be dinner. I just can't handle food today. Like after yesterday being so bad symptom wise, I'm just kind of defeated. I have no appetite. I'm just like, you win body. I give up today. I just took a sip of water and threw up some of the chips. Today is not my day. Today is not my day. So I'm feeling a little delirious right now because I haven't eaten anything since the chips. I'm just paralyzed with fear of eating anything because I'm just afraid I'm gonna throw it up. Like I've even had some close calls of just almost throwing up something by all of a sudden. But I've been making this delicious herbal tea and I've been getting really into mixing my own teas with loose leaf um, herbs. And so for this tea, I used a little bit of licorice root. I used a little bit of ginger root. I used a little bit of lavender. A little on the lavender goes a long way. Um, a few chamomile blossoms and a couple pinches of lemongrass. And then I steeped it in this little thing that my, my boss actually gave me this and just put them all in there. I'm still getting used to the amounts because originally when I started first using this thing to steep teas, I was putting like handfuls of herbs in and I was making this insanely strong tea. You just need a little pinch or two of everything and then it works perfectly. This tastes so good and it's very soothing. So I'm just drinking this. I'm probably about to cry because I'm just having this moment of just like complete despair. Like I physically can't eat anything. Um, I was sipping my tea and I was standing in the living room and it was my second cup of tea. It's herbal tea. And I was sipping my tea and then all of a sudden I just started just throwing it up. It just like spewed out of me. I had no control over it. I got it on our couch. I got it all over the floor and I had to like mop it up with like a towel and I just felt disgusting and like Robert was right there watching it. But he watches me throw up all the time so it's not like a new thing. But it just was really embarrassing and just defeating. Cause I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll eat something and like kind of get my strength up and then I'm throwing up water or tea or whatever. So it's like, cause I'm just not eating today anymore. So I'm ending the vlog. I'm pouring a Miralax into a capful. Miralax time, do do do. And I'm making my Miralax water and then I'm gonna do today's last dose. Monday morning, I do want to report that I made my Miralax water last night with lemon juice and everything, but I couldn't drink it. Like it was just too much for my stomach. Like I just couldn't handle it. You know, yesterday I wasn't very bloated, but that's probably because I barely ate. So I mean, not sure if that's really an accurate way to judge. Um, as far as hunger, I'm still not hungry. Like I thought I would wake up super hungry because I barely ate yesterday and I'm just feeling like still no interest in food. I'm gonna eat more today than I did yesterday. I'm gonna push myself, but yeah, I don't feel hungry. Um, but I'm gonna take my dose for today, my morning dose.
give a little midday update. I'm not feeling great. I'm not feeling terrible, but I've not really felt that hungry today. And I have felt a little nauseous and a little bit of like heartburn here and there. And so I'm really scared to like eat a high volume food or a food that I don't know 100% is gonna be like safe because I'm just scared of throwing up. I've only had some yogurt and a couple of RX protein bars today, which are like date and almond and egg white protein bars. They're really, really, really good. And they're easy on my stomach. I don't think I've ever thrown them up except for maybe like once or twice. I definitely haven't had enough calories today, but that's kind of every day. And I can't really do anything about that. I'm just about to drive home from work. In terms of symptoms, um, I'm not bloated, but again, I haven't eaten that much today. I can't really judge that super fairly, but I had some dried kiwi and some cheese crackers like for lunch. <laughs> That's all I had was like a little bit of dried kiwi and some cheese crackers, and then I had a kombucha. Now I'm gonna go back home and we'll see if I can handle having dinner. So weirdly enough, foods that are like unhealthy tend to be the easiest for me to eat. So this afternoon for, I don't know what meal this would be, I'm just gonna have a slice of cheesecake and enjoy it and go on about my day. So, the nausea is just getting really bad. It's just starting to preoccupy my mind because it's just getting so bad. I feel like my symptoms are like whack-a-mole. Basically, as soon as one symptom goes down, say for instance, bloating, then another symptom like gets worse. Say for instance, nausea. So I'm really nauseous, but I'm not bloated. So I'm finally feeling better. Um, I, I the nausea is gone. So the, like the part two of my dinner is just a bunch of kiwis that I cut up. I've heard they're really good for digestion, especially constipation. So I'm just having a ton of kiwis and then I'm gonna take my last dose of the day. So Robert is very excited, but he wants to wait until tomorrow night before he gets like really, really excited. So I'm gonna tell you, um, I am a little bit nauseous, but that's probably my fault because after I had the kiwis, I couldn't help myself. And I had two of these, well, not two packages. Just, I had one package, but there's two peanut butter cups in here. So probably my fault, but on the good news, I'm really not bloated at all. Well, I'm a little bloated as always, but I'm not like, it's not hurting. It's not like super distended. And my stomach is two inches smaller than it normally is by nighttime. So instead of being 34 inches, it's 32 inches. So that's pretty exciting. So good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm really pleased that I woke up with a really, really flat stomach this morning. I'm not bloated at all. And to give you some context, um, when my stomach is not bloated, it's 27 inches around. I just measured it. So to give you some context of like how much it fluctuates from like not being bloated to being like really bloated. But yeah, I'm not really hungry, which is typical, but I'm gonna take my dose and get ready for work. So yeah, for lunch, I had some of that really delicious soup that I made on Sunday because I didn't really get to eat any of it on Sunday. And let me tell you, if that soup sits for a couple days, it gets so much better. Like all the flavors just like meld. Oh, so good. But then I've started having these little episodes of throwing up. Um, I've thrown up, that's maybe the fourth or fifth time that I've thrown up since the soup. Um, again, it's small amounts, but it's still uncomfortable. Um, and I feel so full. I don't feel bloated. Like my stomach feels perfectly soft and it's not tight and hard and I don't feel like it's distended, but I do feel very very, very full in like my actual stomach, like so full that it's a little hard to breathe. I feel really uncomfortable and like my thoughts can't even focus because I'm so distracted by how full I feel. Robert and I had a lot of hope last night that I was getting better because of the less bloating and I hadn't thrown up that day. And today has just turned into a really bad day. After I got home from work, like I hadn't eaten anything since like lunch, which was that soup that I had that I said filled me up a lot. So I wanted like a really, really small dinner. And so I had some kombucha, which is normally a soup super safe food and one of the RX bars that I love, which is also usually a super safe food. We were just driving around so Robert could get dinner and I slowly ate both. And then I immediately started like, I immediately started like burping uncontrollably and I kept throwing up. And so I had to keep opening the door of the car and like throw up outside the car. So like, I was just like holding it in my mouth every time that it came up and like, it was disgusting and then I had to like wait for like a stop light or a stop sign so I could open the door, the car door and like get it out. And that just happened over and over and over again like the whole time. Just goes to show that even safe foods sometimes, like I know I was saying earlier, like I never throw up the protein bars and now here I am like throwing them up for like an hour. Okay, so dinner at like 
8 p.m. So maybe it's more of like dessert is gonna be this massive bowl of kiwis And then I'm making my nighttime herbal tea So I have that in here with the chamomile lemon balm all that normal stuff I'm gonna have my dose and then Robert and I are gonna watch some TV together and I'm going to go to bed So I'm at work right now. I'm just sitting in my car. Um, in terms of symptoms, my bloating has really gone down. Like I measured my stomach this morning and it was 26 inches. It has not been 26 inches in a long time. I did have it at 34 inches last night. So I was pretty bloated last night, but this morning I'm not bloated. Oh, the other thing I wanted to point out and if you're tired of me harping on this, you know, understand that I get told every time I see a doctor that my symptoms are just constipation. So I have to keep harping on this. Um, I pooped three times yesterday. So I'm like the queen of pooping right now. <sighs> I'm, I'm actually feeling really pretty good today. I'm not very bloated. I'm not very nauseous. I haven't thrown up at all yet, but again, I have been sticking to really safe foods, protein bar, kombucha, kefir, some dried fruit. So nothing crazy. So I'm just in my car after work and I really don't feel good. I was feeling pretty hungry, like mid-morning and so I really kind of rolled with that and I ate like multiple like vegan protein bars which normally sit pretty well with me yesterday excluded like my brain is so foggy um the dried mango and like the the yogurt and then I for lunch I had um sushi rice a little bit of nori avocado and cucumber that was all I had so like really simple easy to digest foods you would think but like my acid reflux is super bad now like it keeps trying to come up and like, I feel so heavy and like lethargic and exhausted. And like, it just, it just seems, you know, when you eat like a burger and fries and super greasy food afterwards, you feel a lot of times heavy and just really conscious of the fact that you ate. That's how I feel right now. I feel super conscious of the fact that I had lunch three hours ago and super weighed down by it and just exhausted by having eaten it. And it was rice, avocado, nori, and cucumber. Like very basic plant-based food. And I just feel, oh. And that was three hours ago. So I don't know when I'm gonna feel better. And it's just like frustrating. It's hard to breathe. My stomach feels so full and it keeps trying to come up. So it's about seven-ish and I've already had my dinner, um, which was kiwi, a big bowl of like cut up kiwi and some gluten-free crackers. I feel like the kiwi, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I feel like it's really helping with my, with like, if there was any constipation, I feel like it's helping with it because everything is just really just moving through me in a beautiful way. That's all I'm going to say about that. I feel like I have to keep mentioning it because I get told all the time that this is just constipation and it's like, it's really not. Like, I digress and I'm super nauseous now. So I'm about to drink my herbal tea for the night and I'm going to take my dose and I'm probably not gonna vlog anymore for the rest of the night. It's so wild looking at my pill bottle and seeing I only have six pills left. We're almost at the end y'all and it's terrifying because I still feel sick. Good night. <laughs> What? And I used the bathroom with the door open because if I turn the fan on, God knows what you think is going to happen in there. So I'm about to leave work. This is my first like symptom check-in of the day. I really haven't eaten much today, which always means that my symptoms are less. Whenever I just don't eat much, I feel way better, which is really depressing. <laughs> I'm in the parking lot of our apartment. And while I was driving, I just realized that I'm just so bloated. Like I just feel so bloated. Dinner is gonna be a vegetable soup. That may or may not make me feel better, but that's what I'm craving, so that's what I'm gonna make. Guys, I'll be honest, like, I just feel like crap. Like, I'm so angry that the antibiotics didn't work. I, a part of me in the back of my mind the whole time was thinking these aren't gonna work, these aren't gonna work, these aren't gonna work. But I wanted them to work. Of course I wanted to just take a pill for two weeks and be better. Who wouldn't want that? I wanted that so badly. And, you know, now that I'm here, 
two weeks later and I still feel the exact same way that I felt before and I'm still bloated and I'm still throwing up. Like when I, I've actually just made this amazing vegetable soup with bone broth that I cannot wait to eat. But while I was cooking it, I ate chocolate. So I was eating chocolate, it was delicious, dark chocolate, mm, 10 out of 10. And now I just came into the bathroom to throw up. So I've, I, haven't, I hadn't thrown up at all today until just now. And the reason I hadn't thrown up today is because I didn't eat very much. So I just, I'm just so weak and fatigued and emotionally drained from this. I just want to be able to sit down and eat and it's just pain and throwing up and bloating and loss of appetite and all this stuff and I just, like my brain fog is so bad, I feel so spacey, my legs are shaking, my body is deteriorating, like my muscles in a lot of places have atrophied, I know I'm malnourished, I know I barely have energy to do basic stuff, I'm drained after, like every time I go to work, I'm drained all the time and I'm freaking pissed that this medication that the doctor said would likely work, unless it didn't, didn't work. I messaged her and told her basically like, it didn't do a single thing, I still have all my same symptoms, what can you do for me? I don't think she can do anything for me, but I asked her anyway. And yeah, starting the elimination diet and the low FODMAP diet on Saturday, so hopefully that will help. So, I'm feeling a lot of despair right now because like that soup was so basic. This is the beautiful bok choy mushroom chili soup that I made with bone broth and I'm about to pour it over these cucumbers. It's gonna be a great little dinner here. Hopefully I will not throw it up, but likely I will. It was just so gentle and supposedly so soothing and I couldn't eat more than a handful of bites of it. I couldn't drink the kombucha that I had. I couldn't eat like any of it really because I got so nauseous and I'm still so nauseous that it hurts to move. Like it just, I'm so nauseous that I just feel sick, just like insanely sick and so sick that I want anything to do with food the rest of the night. I put all the soup away and I'll just have leftovers for tomorrow, but I'm super nauseous. I'm only gonna have water the rest of the night. I just feel terrible, so. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm bloated. I'm realizing now that it's hard to breathe. Like, the meds did nothing. The meds did nothing and I can't even eat a gentle vegetable soup. So, it's Friday morning, last day on the medication. I can't really believe it's the last day. I feel like this two weeks has gone by extremely fast, but at the same time, nothing has changed or happened. So it's just kind of like two weeks in my normal life. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm really just tired and I feel really depleted because I under ate massively yesterday. So I just feel completely depleted, exhausted, irritable. You know, there was nothing I could do. The nausea was so bad that there was no way I could eat anything else. So it's just really frustrating to feel my body getting weaker and to know that I'm massively under eating and there's nothing that I can do. There's no way that I can stop it because I'm already eating all the safe foods that I can possibly eat and getting as many calories as I possibly can. And it's just like, not enough. I'm literally, the camera's at a weird angle because I'm holding my arm up because that's how weak I am. I just feel so crappy, so nauseous, so weak, so disoriented. Um, for breakfast, I had an RX bar and I'm so nauseous from it. Like, I don't want to eat anything else. Like, I just feel awful, like, so bad that all I want to do is be lying in bed right now. Like, I'm so nauseous, so weak. My brain is so foggy. Like, I can't think anything straight. Like, I literally just feel like complete crap today. Like, I just feel so bad. Like, my body is so tired of not being nourished. And I really hope that this new diet that I'm starting tomorrow helps because I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm doing everything that I can do. So I feel so bad and so sick and so nauseous that thankfully my boss let me leave work early because I just can't do it anymore. I don't really know if I can say that protein bars are safe foods anymore because I keep throwing them up. Eating has just been a struggle. I know I'm hungry. Like I feel so weak and so malnourished and like I need food, but then I eat food and I get nauseous and I throw up. Like it's this endless cycle. We heard back from my doctor. She said that she could prescribe another round of refraximin, but if the refraximin hasn't really done anything for me, she doesn't see the point in prescribing another round. So she's probably not going to do that. She said, try 
trying the elimination low FODMAP diet plan that I have is a good one and that I should do that. But she said if it doesn't work after two weeks that I should stop doing it. I think she doubts that my symptoms are as bad as they are. I wish that she could watch these videos and just see like how much I'm struggling and how much I need help. So I'm really hoping this low FODMAP thing works. I'm about to get groceries that comply with it and then go home and like meal prep for tomorrow when I start the diet. Yep, I just took my last dose. I've been really nauseous all day. No matter what I eat, I get nauseous and I don't feel good. So I'm not, I've just been having not a good day. I've been doing errands and getting ready for this new diet tomorrow. But Robert wanted us to get some Froyo because I've never had it and because I'm not allowed to have it on a low FODMAP diet. So I'll probably get a tiny one and see how I feel, but that's what we're gonna do to end the, the vlog and the night. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.